So today we got a lot of jobs done on the boat. Um, I continued to do some staining uh, of these 12 volt covers and I also worked on uh, water filtration system a little bit. You can see me here in the car. Uh, I'm putting the connectors on uh, with some uh, Teflon tape uh, to the top of the water filter and uh, I got down in the lazarette and was hoping to um, be the hero today and affix the water filter into place but that was not gonna happen. Um, we probably need to buy some new line, uh, some new hose I should say, to uh, fit this thing into place because it's just really difficult where it is. Um, and I got really frustrated because a lot of jobs in the boat just require brute strength and I don't have it. Um, so I went outside, I watched Jeff for a little while, he was dremeling off the remainder of the uh, 5200 or whatever was on our deck hardware and just getting it cleaned up and ready to rebed today. Screens for the port lights. Um, initially he wanted me to put them on the outside but there's just really no good way to adhere them or affix them I should say um, to the outside of the boat. I imagine with any significant wind they would just pop off because there's really no nothing but this small lip on the outside um, of the cabin top as well. So I think what I'm going to try to do is design something that has elastic around the outer edge and that we can just simply slip over. Hmm. I'm not sure yet, actually. I'll get back to you. Uh, from the recommendation of one of our YouTube viewers um, and Facebook friends, we are going to try this type of LED conversion light um, for our cabin lights. Um, so the other lights that we tried have LED lights all around and maybe are not pointing in the right direction and giving us the optimal light from the LEDs. So we'll try this one instead. Uh, it's three times as expensive, but if it's better, then we're willing to do it. All right, it's about three, a little after three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you know, starting to run out of daylight a little bit. Uh, maybe got about two hours, two and a half hours left to work. And we're really trying to rebed the, um, the deck hardware today because it doesn't, it's not clear that we're going to get another sunny day, um, or another dry day, I should say, the rest of the time we're here. Um, slowly cleaning off all the different pieces. Uh, I'll show you this later underneath the tarp here. Um, but right now I'm really working on, you know, cleaning off these pieces right here, which is uh, an extra support piece for the, for, for the stanchion. Um, you can see up here, cleaned it off, and gosh, I, you know, really took off some of the the kind of gel coat coloring as well. Um, trying not to do that, but there's really not too much to do about that. Um, and there's my phone ringing with the awesome Magnum PI tune. But I'll check back in a second. I've kind of got this completed over here um, and more or less on the outside as well. So, gonna... well, uh, it's around about 6.30 now. It's completely dark outside. Um, we just ran out of light. I just ran out of light. Um, cleaned up all the stainless steel fittings. Uh, cleaned the deck really well with acetone and stuff like that. Um, we're really ready to go was starting to bed it bed and and right when I was going to get started with a little bit of light left realized that um, I didn't have quite enough screws to finish the job I bought some the other day at Lowe's and thought I had enough but uh, when I counted them out I was a couple short 
And so then I had to go run over to Lowe's. By the time I got back and sort of assessed the situation, it was, uh, it's just too dark. And I don't want to make a mistake because I'm sort of rushing in the darkness. Um, the reason we were trying to get this done was because the next couple of days we have chance of rain every day. Um, tomorrow, which is Sunday, and then Monday both look pretty bad, 70-80% chance. Um, and at least tomorrow, rain almost all day. Um, so I'm going to tape up everything. We've got a tarp for over the top. Uh, there are some, some holes along the side um, that I'm going to tape up, put some, uh, put some plastic over them. And then we'll just be looking for a window in the, in the rain to try to, try to get this done. Um, you know, I mean, hopefully come Tuesday or something like that, uh, we'll have enough of a break in the weather to, to get it all finished. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some time over the next, you know, five days or six days or whatever we got left uh, to get this done. It's just pretty frustrating because we were working really hard on this all day, and um, and I just thought I was going to get it done. Uh, I can't imagine um, looking back on it, you know, or, or starting off the day. I couldn't imagine that it was going to take me, you know, six hours, seven hours to uh, to clean off the, all the fittings um, completely and and really clean off the deck completely. Uh, but it did, <laughs> and. Um, and so we'll have to come back and, and finish the job uh, in a couple of days. Um, so over the next couple of days, as we got the rain coming, we've got a lot of stuff to take care of in the uh, cabin here. Um, you know, a lot of those hoses. We've got uh, a job over in the uh, little bit of fiberglassing uh, epoxy that we're going to put down in the, in the um, shower, possibly. Uh, just a lot of jobs to, to take care of. So we're certainly going to keep ourselves busy.